Hello, everybody. We hope you're having an amazing day today. For us, as the time to welcome Yellowstone Season 5 approaches, we get happier and our days get brighter. We know that Season 4 of the series was underwhelming for the most part as it didn't meet the expectations that were created back in Season 3. The Season 3 ending of the series was especially shocking as we witnessed subsequent attacks on all of our main characters. Naturally, we expected at least one of them to end up dead. Of course, we didn't want them to be killed off since we love them all. However, logically, it would make sense to lose at least one of them to watch a more realistic series. Unfortunately, though, Yellowstone didn't provide the brutal reality that we got used to seeing in the series. Instead, we started Season 4 of the series with everyone being alive and well. This was good on the one hand since it gave every single one of these characters the chance to start over. And they did start over. For instance, John decided to become a better, more emotional man rather than seeking revenge at all times. Beth, on the other hand, had a completely opposite lesson from what she had been through and decided to seek revenge at all costs. Another character that was impacted by all these was Monica, Casey's poor wife who never gets what she wants. Being attacked within her own home by unknown men and watching her son killing one of those men devastated her psychologically. Expectedly, her marriage was also impacted by all these. Her relationship with Casey was already walking on shells since they moved to Yellowstone Ranch. But this final attack has become the number one factor that ruined their romance. At that point, one thing was clear for Monica. Either she will get a divorce or they will leave that ranch. This position of hers forced Casey to make a decision as well. In the end, he listened to his father's advice and decided to leave the ranch to have a new home with his family. Even though things got improved when they moved out, it was still far from perfect. In fact, the season 4 finale of the show suggested that the ending was near for the couple, as Monica's days were numbered. At this point, we know that Monica is a major obstacle in front of Casey's legacy of being a Yellowstone rancher. We believe that when he took himself on that spiritual journey in the mountains, he discovered that he is the one who will be the savior of the Yellowstone ranch. He learned that if he continues to leave outside the ranch, the ranch will be doomed to be ruined. However, we don't think he will be willing to leave Monica alone just to save Yellowstone and his family legacy. We believe he will side with Monica no matter what, not only because he loves her, but also because she carries their second child. That being said, we don't think Monica will survive the birth of her child. We believe she will lose her life in Season 5, leaving Casey in grief. In Season 4, we saw that another Native American woman is also in love with Casey. In our opinion, she will be the one that brings life back to Casey and makes sure things will return to normal for him. She will be the biggest support of Casey inheriting the Yellowstone Ranch and changing his life. We know that it's bitter to even think about these. But, as hardcore fans, we believe we have to prepare ourselves for the tragedy so that we can avoid emotional devastation. Are you ready to see Monica gone? Do you think Casey would leave her behind to save Yellowstone? Let us know what you think in the comments below and don't forget to like, subscribe and share the video. Thank you for watching. See you soon.